Hey guys, I created these tiny fall guys with tic tacs and now wanted to play with them. You suggested the map DoorDash. Made with cardboard. Before we start creating the very first map I have ever created, DoorDash, I wanted to create a new Fall Guy to join our collection. And this is the astronaut. I somehow missed to create him in the very first video. I wanted to create him because I love astronauts since I was a little child. And now I can't wait to read all your Among Us please comments. <laughs> Hopefully this guy will also win our tiny challenge, <laughs> the map DoorDash, because after I have finished this guy and after finishing the map DoorDash, we will play on this map made out of cardboard and I am really excited about that. Now let's first focus on this guy, which is made very easily. We have some instruments and also some tubes in the front. And okay, we are using the scissors, putting on the backpack, adding his arms. And there is also a tiny pocket on the right arm, the shoes, and we are almost there. Let's put this into the oven. And now after oven hardening, we can paint his symbols on the uniform. Now that we have finished the tiny astronaut, let's start with DoorDash. Before I start working with cardboard, I try to understand how the map is built up, how it is constructed, and it is quite helpful to make a tiny drawing of the map also to see how many doors we have in each different stage, how wide each door should be. I figured out that each door should be three centimeters in order for our tiny Tic Tac Fall guys to go through, to smash through the doors. Then I take some straws because they are perfect for the fence for all the fences on the side. And of course we have to decide which door breaks and which is solid. And I am deciding this quite randomly with these two pens. Okay, here we go. We need some cardboard boxes and we are folding them to create door dash with a certain height that the very last stage of the level, well, you probably know this better than I, goes down, that we have this um, cascading effect on the map. This is our drawing. The whole map has a total length of one and a half meters, which is around five feet. Yeah, that's true. I am using my hot glue gun, my beloved hot glue gun, to get these cardboard boxes together and to create this gigantic door dash map. Well, I'm not really sure if you can imagine this size. When you look at your table, well, it's, it's huge. You, you get it. I, I get it. When I am working with cardboard, I am always afraid of paper cuts. Is it, is it called cardboard cuts? Well, I am using either my scalpel or just a regular knife or the scissors. When you have very thick cardboard, sometimes I even use a saw for that. But this should also work. 
The hot glue gun is the best way to glue cardboard together because we need plenty of this right now. Well, just make sure to get the best tools available. Oh, as reference for this project, I am watching a lot of gameplay on YouTube right now. You can see the screen right in front of me. And it is really helpful because um, it's not always about the measurements, it's also about the feeling which you get when you play inside a game, when you play a certain level. At least for me this is important, not only to make it 100% accurate, but to make it how you feel, how a certain level should, should be in reality or when you create it with clay and cardboard or glue. I am using another layer of cardboard to get the surface quite even and this will also be a great surface to paint onto and this is our cascading spot where it is just going downstairs and now we can start preparing all the different doors and probably we should start with the door frames first Right at the beginning of this project, I decided to go for the exact same scale um, I used for the Tic Tac Fall guys. So this was my measurement, this was my starting point. Then I watched some gameplay and I saw that my doors should be at least 3 cm wide. And also the door frames defined itself by this measurement. Now let's take the straws. They are yellow, you know this. <laughs> and I am using the hot glue gun to stick them together. And after that we'll use just a little bit of acrylic paint. Maybe, maybe just a tiny bit. I have no idea how much paint we will need. Okay, probably we need more of this. And maybe even more. The bottles are getting bigger and bigger and <laughs> I'm trying out some different brands of acrylic paint. This one is very runny. <laughs> it's very lick liquid well you, you get me the fence is finished the yellow fence we can now start mixing some different colors we need some red magenta white and we get this beautiful pink for the very first um, layer the very first stage of doors and they are all so bright, it gets a little bit more yellowish and then later even a little bit green and blue, bluish, it's like the rainbow. Then we have the two colored tiles on the ground, well I think these are mattresses that the fall guys don't don't hurt themselves when they fall accidentally this may happen we have dark blue and also bright blue and this was really satisfying now we are mixing the brighter blue I am mixing very similar it's the same process when I am mixing clay when you want to make bright colors, take tons of white and just a little bit of the color blue, for example. These are the gaps in between the mattresses. I try to be very accurate and clean with this.
uh, we have still a lot to do on this door dash map. Now that we have finished some of the base layer, we will work on the details, which are the doors, so that we can put them inside the door frames. Then we have some flags. I left out all the different flying objects uh, to the side, because then um, this video would have come out probably next week and I really wanted to play with with this <laughs> um, yeah and then we we have some clay parts as well we have the rainbow this is one door and I am using my scalpel to cut it open and then we have some doors which I will glue together again <laughs> so that the fall guys can't see which doors are opening and which um, doors are just solid and closed, locked. And then we have the doors which will break open when you smash yourself right against them, like this one, for example. I made some testings before I started the whole DoorDash map and shut just with cardboard and it worked with my finger, when my finger smashed against the door, it would open. I have no idea if this will work with our tiny and lightweight Tic Tac Fall guys. This is the flag, or one of the flags. I'm using a toothpick for the pole. And I take a needle to make tiny holes inside the straw to place the flags to the side. We have four flags in total. And this is the goal line, the finishing line, very important. The last non-clay working step is painting the arrows on the ground. And the finishing area, we have white one. Oh. It's the return of the pen of death. I think I'll stick with the acrylic paint for all the, the left arrows, which I have to paint. And we can fix this with some acrylic paint as well. Beautiful, look at that. Now let's go from cardboard claim to clay claim again. <laughs> this is the rainbow, which is located in the final area, in the goal area, at the end of this map. And then we have the goal itself, with the logo from Fall Guys, which also reminds me of some candy bars. It's quite easy to create. We have this pink outline. Let's now work on the letters. We have this bulky and bold font. And also, well, probably it's the same same font, but the, the, the upper one looks a little bit taller. <laughs> After oven hardening, the eyes are missing, which we just painted, and now we can assemble it, we can glue it together, and we can glue this onto our finishing line. And this is the last working step. Well, well, stop. We have to, to glue the rainbows to the side. But let's place the logo first. And this is the rainbow. Well, it's not 100% accurate to the ground, my version not. Oops, I broke one of the doors. And finally we can start. I get some help from Steph. And please welcome our brave volunteers, the Tic Tac Fall Guys. I think the astronaut will win. I have a good feeling about this. We are lifting the table and they start running. Nobody is winning. Oh, the first door breaks! It's the raptor! The raptor is winning! He's already on. Oh, what's that? 
This is cheating. The chicken is cheating. Whoa. There is no way out. We have two fall guys. Whoa, now we have a little bit more fall guys. Getting to the finishing line. Who is winning? It's very even right now. It's the raptor again and the chicken. The chicken and the raptor are running it. The chicken is winning. <laughs> it's official. The chicken skin won the very first map we have created from Fall Guys. And this is our astronaut. He made last place. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video creating and playing with DoorDash. Let me know which map you would like to see next and write it down in the comments. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Take care guys. Bye. I could do this all day long.